Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I, I actually I clicked to go in the wrong time because I was laughing and I just drank some water. Oh boy, hardly I can breathe. Anyway, YouTube is hilarious and when you watch Muslims trying to defend their religion, you die laughing for sure. Anyway, let us go Brandon. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, a Muslim, a Muhammadan, he posted in the previous video, a video for us. First of all, by the way, I'm so, so, you know, I mean, I'm so disappointed that he discovered this Muslim that the one we are calling every day is not the true Zakir Naik. I mean, I don't know how he found out, but this is what he said in the comment. He said, this person is fully new. He is not calling Zakir Naik. All those years, I'm calling Zakir Naik and nobody notice. And there is a Muslim today. He discovered. I don't know what to say. Finally, we got busted. You can see the comment in the previous video we just posted today. Uh, his, his name, I think, the three minutes, something like this. Uh, his name is, yeah, three minutes. His name is three minutes. He have a clock sign next to his name. Yep. He discovered that this is not a true Zakir Naik and I'm faking it. What we will say to the Muslim now? <laughs> Very disappointing. I'm sure all of you are disappointed now. I mean, what I will say even to like the people who knows me, I mean, you lost, nobody will trust you no more. I mean, how in the world we can fix this problem now? You can defend it, you can say, uh, Christian Prince, he don't mean it. Uh, you, you can say whatever lie you want, but that's it, it's too late. The Abdul, he got you busted. And it doesn't matter what you try to do. The problem is there. You cannot get rid of it, and you cannot fix it. Let us see how we can fix Zakir Naik here first. What happened to Zakir Naik? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Abdul. Abdul. Everybody knows I'm calling Zakir Naik, and this is the real Zakir Naik. What's wrong with you? Listen carefully. Let me call you again now. Tadadam, tadadam. Tadadam, tadadam. Griffin Prince, I told you, don't call me. Hey, are you there? Zakir Naik, listen, there's a guy in the chat. He just said that I am faking you, and this is not you. First of all, it's me. You can punch me, or you can hold me from the end. What the heck? I'm not going to punch you. What's wrong with you? But can you say something to this guy that it is you, the true Zakir Naik? The, please, you know, they don't believe me. First of all, brother and sister, if you are listening to the crazy prince, if you say rain coming from my mouth, this is me. If there's no rain, that means that me. Oh, uh, okay. So that, here we go. So now we have the fingerprint of Zakir Naik. If it's raining, Zakir Naik is spitting all over. <laughs> what a stupid idiot you are, the one who made this comment. Anyway, but he posted for us a video <clears throat> as a response for the sun set in a murky water. Okay. So I decide to listen to the video. I mean, what we can do? You know, that's it. You got us busted. Okay, Zakir Naik, tell us about the sunset in murky water. Meaning, it appeared to Zulkar Naik. Look, what the heck? Unscientific. The other big word used here is, it is wajada. Uh -huh. Meaning, it appeared to Zulkar Naik. Look, what the heck? The word wajada mean it appeared to Zulkar Naik? That's deep. That's deep. Wajada 
mean it appear to the Qurnayn. So why you Muslim in translation don't say it appear to the Qurnayn? Why you say he found it? All translations say he found it. If this is what it's meant. Secondly, don't you Muslim you say the Quran is so clear? So why Allah is using the wrong word? But anyway, so brother and sister, the Karnay couldn't speak Arabic. He said that this would mean, what the mean? It appeared to him. Okay, why Allah is saying it appeared to, uh, to him? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Look at the stupidity. Let us say for the sake of the argument, if you have an argument, by the way, if you don't behave in that chat, I will send you the Afrit. The Afrit, the genie, the one who's bold, you know? Behave yourself. Afrit can grab you right now, bring you here. So any one of you in the chat who will misbehave, I will send you the Afrit, which is mentioned in chapter 27, verse number 39. So, okay, we go to the verse. Let us go with you. Allah is saying, brother, it appeared to Zulqarnayn. Okay. Why he says it appear that it is sitting in a spring of a black, black muddy motor? <clears throat> and since when it will appear to anybody? You see that, that those liars, they say to you, ocean and etc. But there's no ocean. It says a spring, spring. Do you know how small the spring? You, when we say spring, we're not even talking about a river. It's a little tiny creek of water, spring. So it does not say it's an ocean. Hey, let us go back to Zakir Naik. Peace be upon him. And may Allah uh, open your umbrella. We are, uh, Zakir Naik will talk. Continue, Zakir Naik. And not William Campbell knows Arabic. So what does that mean? If you look up in the dictionary also, it means it appeared. If we go in the dictionary, also it means appeared. Okay, this is the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> in the dictionary it mean it's appeared well this is your stemmy dictionary where, where it appear I don't see it even it says there next to it Quran and this is almaani.com this is a very Islamic website run from the Gulf where is the word appear uh -huh. that's deep Brother Tether, do you remember E.F. Dawa? Even they call themselves E.F. Dawa, which means let us go brand them. <laughs> E.F. Dawa. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he said, the guy in there in the video said, the word solub mean uh, male member. And you, with the proof of that, go to dictionary. We go to dictionary, we find that solub mean backbone. <laughs> But the brothers and sisters, things is getting more complicated. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mimi Hijab, he decided to be involved, to support here. Yeah, this is the same guy. You know, okay, can I suck your wife tits? <laughs> the same guy, the same guy, Mimi Hijab. So Mimi Hijab, he decided to support and he put his heavy weight, you know, he's a boxer supposedly. I don't know he's boxing who, but anyway, he's a hero when you fight yourself. So, uh, yeah, you can suck his wife tits. I mean, it's haram. Yeah, it's, I mean, halal. The prophet said, are you making fun of your prophet, you filthy? And the funny is, if I call their prophet the same words, suck on me, suck so the prayer at our custom prince. They say it, it's okay. <laughs> Don't quote the prophet. Don't. Otherwise, you will be considered a sexual prophet, sexual predator. So uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, he decided to jump in the fight and he want to give a hand to brother Zakura. Look at this. Look at this, man. What do you want to say to us? I mean, you cannot handle the truth that Santa Claus is real and the sun does not sit in murky water authoritative uh, dictionaries for referencing the Arabic language
Al-Fad Mufrat Al-Quran, he says in it that this wajada uh, could mean anything from the five senses. So it's perspectival and it's something from the five senses that is experienced from the person experiencing them. So this wajada is clearly in the Arabic language perspectival and it's the anthropocentric phenomenological perspective. <laughs> Abdul, hold on, hold on. Just to show you how stupid you are. The one is talking is not Zulqurnayn to say this is his perspective and he is saying that. The one who is saying that is your God. You see the stupidity of those people? If I am saying, if I am saying, well, I found, uh, you know, something, whatever. Let's say it's wrong. I found something wrong, which is mean I was wrong about my finding. And my sense was not helping me. For some reason, you know, but the one is talking is Allah, idiot. They ask Muhammad, can you tell us about the guy who is from Egypt? Look how stupid they are, supposedly the story. There was the Muslim story. And he is in, from Egypt, but his father is a Greek. And he built the city of school Alexandria. What his name, what his name, what his name? <laughs> Let us go, Brandon, obviously. So, Muhammad, he went home, and he waited for a few days, and he came with the answer. And he said, Allah told me to tell you. If you go back to the verse, you will see, I forget about the Afrit. This Afrit will keep coming to me in my face. Let us close this one here. Man, Afrit. If you go a few verses, you will see that the one is talking is Allah. So how this is can be from the guy imaginary Allah is telling us what this guy he did what he found so let us say for the sake of argument this guy was wrong so why Allah is telling us that he found the Sun sitting in a muddy hot spring not ocean they are asking you about Zulqarnayn the guy with the two horn say I shall recite to you something, something of his story. So who is talking Allah? Verily we established him in earth and we gave him the means of everything. So he is sponsored by Allah, which means the means of everything, even understanding, even knowledge, even guidance. And you will see that in the rest of the story when he built a dam between the people, a human being, and Gog and Magog. So the one is talking is Allah. It is not Zulqarnayn. So the game of he found it, and this is his own perspective, it might work if the one is talking is Zulqarnayn. The one is talking is Allah. And this is long after what he found. So what the point of saying to me something silly like this? Look what he's saying. Enter when he reached the setting place of the sun, he found it setting in a spring of a black, black muddy water, hot water. He didn't say he found it wrongly. He didn't say he was mistaken. He is confirming the find. The one is talking until now is Allah. Do you see the stupidity? However, this Abdul, Mimi Hijab, he is so stupid to the point he forgot that previously he posted other video. <laughs> you forgot your idiot, your video you, you made to, to refute a state prophet? The stupidity of those people is beyond imagination. This guy himself, he posted a video in his channel. And he, when he posted the introduction, he is sitting in his car. He said, what he said, let me remind, remind you, okay. Let us go there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as -salam. How are you guys doing? Fine. This is an annihilatory response video. This is annihilatory. Guess somebody can type the word for me. This is what? I don't know how to type it, honestly. Annihilatory? This is annihilatory. The stupid idiot, he forgot the video he posted in his channel, which is confirming his stupidity about his prophet that he is stupid. What is this video is about? Tell us, please. How are you guys doing? This is an annihilatory response video to 
a man called Rizvan, who is an apostate from Islam and who has made it his life's mission, or at least on on the internet. Uh, okay, just get the crap now. Let us go to the Nanatori. This is your video, you idiot. Can you deny it? This is the video you posted in your channel. And supposedly, this is the video will finish the guy. What you say to him with your sister there who is helping you? An alternative and see this. Narrated by Abu Dhar. Once I was with the Prophet in the mosque at sunset time. The Prophet said, Oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. Again, you shouldn't have said that. He said, it goes and prostrates underneath Allah's throne. First of all, yes. This First of all, yes. Hey, Muhammad Hijab, are you listening? This is the video you posted. This is the video you made with the help of your sisters. First of all, okay, what happened first of all? You shouldn't have said that. He said, it goes and prostrates underneath Allah's throne. First of all, yes. This is the correct hadith. This is the correct hadith, brother. This is what? This is the correct hadith. <laughs> so supposedly, we destroyed the guy. Supposedly, we refuted the guy. It, but hold on. Once I was with the Prophet at, in the mosque, at the sunset time, the Prophet said, O oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, it goes and prostrate under Allah's throne. <laughs> so this is your video did you forget what you posted before did you forget what your muslims gather together to respond to the guy this is a correct hadith let us go to the hadith in the main page so people will laugh hey abu Dhar, where the sun goes brother here we go Yes, uh, this is Sahih Hadith. This is Sahih Hadith, okay? Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, he, maybe he will say, I want it from Al-Bukhari. Mm, okay. Uh, we want it from Al-Bukhari. Uh, give it to me from Al-Bukhari. Okay. Hold on. Hmm. This, is the, this is the Hadith he is saying. This is the correct Hey, hold on, you know, I jumped into conclusion first. I mean, let the guy finish what he is saying in the video. He said, yes, this is correct hadith, but he did not tell us why it's correct. Shouldn't we listen to the guy? I mean, come on, show some respect. Show, so, so, so some respect. Okay. Yes, this is the correct hadith. Why? It is the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, as we can see. And it clearly conflicts with the verse that speaks of Dhul Qarnain's perception. Huh. The words of the Prophet, peace be upon him, are clear, and it is quite obvious that he's speaking of a reality and not a perception. It is reality, brother. It is reality, not a perception. How it is reality? Let us go to the hadith now. So now it's confirmed that it is reality. So according to the reality of the Muhammadan and Mimi Hijab and their sisters, once I was sitting, I was with the Prophet in the mosque. At the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, Oh Abu Dhar, the father of the ants, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best because Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate the knowledge of God, their God, with the knowledge of their false prophet. He said, it goes and prostrate and the underneath Allah throne and that is the statement that Allah, Allah said in the Quran and the sun runs into a fixed course so now this is this is the this is the this is the correct story the sun goes your prophet said where the sun goes the answer is the sun goes this is a video he posted in his channel 
which mean Mimi and Fifi and Sisi and Dudu, all of them, they agree with this hadith. As long as they agree, Islam is history because Muhammad, he is clearly saying that the son is the one who is running and even he's quoting the Quran. Here it says, and the son runs into a fixed course, term a decree, and that is the decree of the Almighty, all-knowing, chapter 36, verse number 38. Do you see it? And as long as they say this is the correct hadith, can they deny it now? So you try to escape the sun sitting in muddy water. You end that the sun is going somewhere. Either way, you're a prophet and your Quran are false. Do you see this beauty? But, you know, why they are not quoting for us the hadith about the sun set in murky water, which Muhammad he said. Oh, this is the Eve, but it says here, Sahih in chain. The guy who said this hadith is modelis. What modelis mean? He lie, or all of you liars. And the proof that all those hadith you don't like, you are accused of being made by liars. That's mean your box is full of liars, and who are they? They are Muslims. So it says Sahih in chain, but for the Abdul, you don't accept that. If we go and read the interpretation for the hadith by their scholars, it says the following Enter when he reached the setting of the sun, the place where the sun set. Look, do you see how clear it is? Let us say, for the sake of argument, Wajadaha, as they say, this is his perspective. But it says here, he went to where the sun set. <laughs> but the sun set everywhere. Trust me. <laughs> you don't need to go anywhere to find where the <coughs> Oh, <coughs> let me get some water. Listen, Abdul. I swear by the bully Quran. that today I saw the sun setting from my window. I did not even drive anywhere. You believe it or not, it's true. So the stupidity is beyond imagination because if Allah reporting what the guy did, how in the world Allah is saying, he keep going, keep going, keep going, until he found where the sun set. So that is a location where the sun go to sleep. This is not the sunset we see every day. This is a place where the sun go down. So they try to fix it with the first part, or let's say the word Bajadaha, but what about the part before it where it says, until he found the sun setting place. If you want to say to me that the word setting place is not mentioned, so why in your Islamic website, and this is your Sheikh at Jalalain saying so, and this is your official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And this is your Muslim translation. And this is Tafsir al Jalalain. If you don't like al Jalalain, brother, like, hold on, hold on. And he found it, it's, it said he found it sitting in muddy spring. Aynun hamia, a spring containing hama, which means a black clay. It is sitting in the spring is described as seen from this perspective of the eye otherwise it's for large it's far larger than this <laughs> the Muslim try to fix it now but the Quran say clearly you see we are going with them this is their interpretation does it say that he could go and enter he found the setting place of the Sun Okay, let us say this is from his imaginary how he saw, but the one is talking is Allah. But how we can solve the problem with the sitting place of the sun? And not only that, if we go a few verses after, we will find that the guy he keep going until he found where the sun rise in verse number nineteen. So not only he found where the sun set, he found where the sun rise. So he keep going another way until when he come to the rising place of the sun. Here is getting more complicated and more clear. Until what? Until he found, until he came 
to a rising place of the sun. So if we have any confusion, now it's clear because obviously the sitting place of the sun and he kept going, this is Alexander the Great, supposed to he occupy everywhere. According to the old you know, generation, they think that the, the, the world is what they occupy. So he controlled all the world. So he kept going, keep going, until he reached the rising place of the sun. Now, you see the stupidity here is that Alexander the Great is a person who is a Greek, or let's say he's a Roman. And those people, they live in the sea. I mean, Greek, all of it is an island. It's hundreds and hundreds of islands. Italy itself is an island in the middle of, of the sea. So if you are telling me that Alexander the Great, he never saw the sunset before, that would be very, very funny. But here it says, he keep going until he found where the sun rise and until he found where the sun set. This is about a specific location. And you notice here, there's no ocean. There is a spring of water. So the poor Abdul, they are so desperate to defend their stupid Quran. However, there is more important things to do than science. Okay, can I suck your wife tits? Muhammad Hijab said to make her haram. They are even making fun of their prophet. They are doing bullying to your prophet. They are bully. Even their prophet, they did not let him alone. Even their prophet, they are willing to say to him, let us go, Brandon. So what the Muslim they do, the verse is so clear, they say, it doesn't say that, CP. It says, let us go, Brandon. What? Does it say here in the front of us that the guy he keep going until he found where the sun rise? Are we making that up? Is that our translation? How we can fix that? Is that from his perspective? He keep going, keep going until he found the sunrise? Let me be a Muslim for a second, God forbid. Brother and sister, the guy, he was a traveling all night because it's very hot. And now he arrived in the morning. Abdul, it doesn't say that. It says that he went all the way where the sun set, which means the west, supposedly, or that direction, whatever it is. And then he changed direction. He followed another way until he reached where the sun rise. Ezul Qurnayn did not have a journey of 24 hours. He spent his life in war. This is not one day journey. Because, okay, the sun set, the sun rise, we are done, is under the great, he go home. So this is the max of his journey. He went to the max, which is where the sun set in a murky water, and the max where the sun rise, and this is the place where the sun rise. And he found next to it people. Next where? Next to where the sun rise. Brother, the city of Alexander, Alexander the Great, that was named Pila, is not near the sea, but Alexander, he traveled around the world. No, we are talking about city, it's called Alexandria. Alexandria, you know, Alexander the Great, this wasn't the city, he chose the location. And it is, uh, you know, like it's a very unique location, good for defense, uh, you know, you know, you can watch documentary about it. So we are talking about Alexander yet because this was the question. They asked him, tell us about the guy who built this city. Who, who care about Pila? What Pila? Focus with me, focus, focus. So enter when he came to the rising place of the sun. Is that from his perspective? Hello? Because 
there is no need to go anywhere to see that same as where the sun set from his perspective secondly from any perspective can be that we found the sun setting in a spring of black water how we can solve this issue is the spring is an ocean no is the spring is even a river no is the spring is a lake no the word is spring aren't you muslim you say that quran is very clear don't you say that nobody can make quran like the quran don't you say that the arabic of the quran is amazing then things get more complicated but in different one we will finish with this one brother and sister who we should believe brother who we should believe when you ask them that about is. the timing of the day he would say to you the sun rises at 7 a.m and it sets at 6 20 p.m <laughs>